Today I'll be reviewing a story from the novel Arrival of the Snake Woman and Other Stories. Specifically, I'll be focusing on the short story Lily Lily because I believe it was the least impactful of all the novels due to its narrative style. To begin, I want to focus on narrative perspective. So the novel jumps between many perspectives, ranging from first person to third person, and they jump between various characters. This can be seen as the first chapter or part is kind of told in an outsider's point of view in first person perspective. They use personal pronouns, but they're speaking of the family and the central characters of the novel in an outsider's point of view. And you may spend some of the novel believing that the whole story is told in that perspective. However, the second perspective is actually the young child Lily's, and the third perspective is a different characters, and so on and so forth for every single part of the rest of the novel. This can be hard for the reader to figure out at first. Even I had trouble kind of figuring out who was telling the story at what point and this can lead to a lot of confusion for the reader. You will spend most of the novel trying to figure out who is telling the story rather than what is happening in the story. When finishing the story, I realized that it is a few characters telling the same story and you are supposed to use the different characters' perspectives to kind of piece it together, but during your first read through, that's not really the message that comes through, at least for me. I was confused till about the third or fourth chapter when I started to realize each chapter was a different perspective. And it doesn't help that the way she jumps between first person and third person perspective didn't really flow. You would think that maybe every other chapter or certain pers people's perspectives will be told in a certain perspective, but that wasn't the case. She jumped between characters and between perspectives whenever she kind of felt like it. And this led to a lot of confusion from me because I couldn't figure out what was happening in the novel. It also doesn't help that she used the same names for two central characters. She did this on purpose, obviously, to kind of have a mysterious element of the novel as the mother and the child were named Lily. But she did it in such a confusing way that the reader can't really understand which Lily's perspective it is, which Lily the character may be talking about. This led to a lot of confusion once again while I was reading the novel. For example, even in the first chapter, the narrator says, and Lily, the other Lily, oh lord, she was like a soul in torment. They had to specify which Lily they're talking about, but throughout the novel they don't do that because they jump between perspectives and between characters. It is just expected for the reader to figure that out, and that may not be clear for the reader, once again leading to a lot of confusion for them. Yes, a novel should promote insightful thinking, it should promote a reader to think outside of the box, but this author specifically does it in such a confusing manner that that might not happen for the reader because a reader shouldn't have to spend majority of their time reading a story trying to figure out who is speaking rather than what's happening even if it is a mystery-ish novel. Yes, I understand that she's telling the story in a specific way that having different characters can help but she makes it very confusing and you don't want your reader to be confused and that's why I personally think she did not use her narrative perspectives efficiently. She could have used a lot of me other methods to get her point across. She didn't have to use narrative perspective in such a messy way where the reader spends majority of their time confused. Furthermore, I believe a very good story should leave an impact on the reader, but this didn't really do that for me. I enjoyed the story in terms of how it was being told once I understood it, and I enjoyed the way she told the story in letters and in different perspectives but it was so messy and confusing it couldn't really leave an impact on me when i read a story i like to have a few quotes i like to take away a message from that novel or from that story but i couldn't do that for this story because it was so confusing and for such a short story it jumped between so many perspectives i couldn't really take away a message i kind of just all right this is the story that's that um for example the novel ended in a very unimpactful way the novel ends with a line if only she were here to give the world a truly inspired version of this magical moment what a story she would tell this isn't a really good line to end your story on sure what actually happened in the story was good it was a heartfelt story but it wasn't mind-blowing because it was messy at first and then it was confusing and then when you finally get all the pieces together the story kind of just ends i don't feel like the audience can truly take away something from the novel yes i understand it's kind of about a woman overcoming struggle and people learning to be more independent in the 
way they are. For example, the older Lily is no longer obsessed with a man kind of taking her away. She's now an independent woman. She has overcome the heartbreak and she has overcome the abuse she has previously lived. And the younger Lily at the end, of course, is a lot happier and she has once again overcome the harassment and sexual abuse that you can infer from the story. Personally, I live in a time where this that's my life. I can be a strong independent if I so desire to, and I didn't need to take that away from the novel. And the stuff I take away from the novel is kind of just, this was a nice story. I couldn't find anything like that in the whole novel, and that's why I believe it is the least impactful of the other stories. Thank you for listening to my review.